Welcome Taurus. This is the Gemini seasons. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful likes, shares and support. All right, Taurus is let's see what is transpiring. Remember to choose the crystal below. Okay. Um, and there you will receive your messages. So ladies and gentlemen, um, before we adjourn, let's check out and see what is coming up for you guys so in this um, um, Gemini seasons we have uh, um, the king of cups um, at work it could be your boss and you're trying to protect yourself from it you guys have eight seven and four the energy of eight seven and four and you have four weeks the season all seasons have four weeks now whoever this um, Pisces cancer scorpion person is this man you're dealing with this man in the first week whoever this man is and whatever is transpiring and whoever this person is um, this person is uh, a Pisces cancer scorpion man now it could be a father figure it could be a husband or it could be your boss okay or it could be a family rem uh, a family member but whoever this man is and whatever is transpiring it is looking as if this person has some sort of an issue with their work or you and this person trying to work and resolve some sort of a problems some sort of an issue so be aware of this because whatever is happening and transpiring between this person there is some sort of a connection or there's some sort of a karmatic situation that a lot of you have to um, resolve with this person so be aware of this this person is coming up and um, this person could be coming up offering you love but this person is in your existence and it's in the week of uh, um, May 21st until May 22nd now whoever this person is and whatever is transpiring I see a tower moment is coming down on this person and um, it could be a situation at the workplace because this is coming up but it can also be a situation where this person um, have some sort of a problem and whatever the problem is uh, is going to be affecting you Tauruses it could be your um, business partner uh, or it could be uh, as someone a brother someone who has uh, um, affected you in some sort of a way but I see his business a tower moment is coming down this person could be also fired from their job um, so be aware of this and this is going to be happening in the week of uh, May um, 21st until May 27 so there is going to be some sort of a uh, um, explosion tower moment between you and this person because of something um, I use uh, I, you know it could be um, a huge argument um, that got out of control that is going to be transpiring and um, whoever this person is expect to hear that a huge and, and this could be a situation with this person work this person at work or their business some sort of an unexpected event that is going to be disastrous for this person a huge disaster is coming up for this person all right Mm. so ladies and gentlemen sometimes whatever is happening to this person is going to be having some sort of an effect on you some of you not all of you and uh, and people are now going to be recognizing that uh, whoever this person is and whatever they were doing um, has now come to light so if this person was playing you or this person have done you some sort of a injustice it is going to be coming out to light so expect some sort of an unexpected tower moment coming in for a Pisces cancer or scorpion person in your life which could affect you in some way or another because we recognize that this person um, is is somehow connected to you okay this person you share the energy and the space with this person and whoever this person is you are going to be finding out and this is a man you're going to be finding out that a huge unexpected event so it could be between you and this person or it could be you and this person alone so um transition transition for this person a Pisces cancer scorpion person in your life 
huge transition between you and this person because of some sort of information came out all right that's the first week now let's go look at the second week the second week we have the energy of the eight of Pentacles and the energy of the eight of Pentacles is about um, some of you could be having some sort of a problem issues with work some sort of a business agreement did not go well the week before this week is the second week and it's going to be May 28 until June 3rd some sort of a problem at the workplace for you Taurus is some sort of a um, partnership has been broken some sort of a, um, a networking um, that some of you Tauruses was in um, you know wasn't um, uh, lubricated as what you wanted and some of you Tauruses whatever that was transpiring you were trying to work on some sort of a problem issues you were dealing with your life and it's not uh, happening for you Tauruses okay and um, this is what I was saying whatever is happening Tauruses I see that you are deliriously um, you know something about your work or business something you were trying to get off the ground and um, you're kind of delirious about the situation because it's as if the situation is not happening for you and I see that some of you Taurus is, is going to be thinking and in in this week is going to be in a sense of uh, you know should I go forward with this thing because you know I'm I'm just I just don't know I just don't know what is happening I just don't know um, what is really happening why this thing is not getting off the ground and I see you Tauruses um, are going to be giving up on something because you recognize that you know whatever I try whatever I do it's not happening why why is it not happening why what what am I doing wrong and a lot of you Tauruses in this week is going to start to um, you know trifle on yourself think you know what it is why can I recognize uh, what it is that I'm not seeing clearly? What is it that I'm not doing? A lot of you are just, you know, can't see the direction to go in. You know, you're kind of, I'm beat. So some of you could be overworked and just uh, beat, okay? Just totally out of it, tired, beaten down. And uh, you're just not going to be understanding what is your next uh, move because of either tired of either not being capable of understanding um, you know this is just doing so much for me so when we look at the energy of the eight of Pentacles the energy of the eight of Pentacles especially when it's in this uh, Form, it's about the Sun in Virgo and there is no happiness at work there is no happiness with whatever you're doing there is no happiness in the workplace because the Sun is in the ver the reverse Sun in Venus uh, Virgo is in a reverse so a lot of you could be dealing with some sort of an issue that a Virgo is really creating a whole lot of illusions around you okay or a Virgo at the workplace you know you don't know which direction to go um what work um to take on it is as if you're like i've tried everything i don't know okay some of you were in a relationship you don't know um what a virgo expect from you as is is a season where a lot of you are dealing is as if you are totally out of it because you don't know um, what this Virgo wants from you and it's it's bringing you out of balance you're kind of dazzling delirious dealing with a Virgo and this is definitely going to be coming up so I mean a lot of you it is going to be um, some sort of an unexpected moments that is going to be transpiring in your world and it's because you are so giddy giddy from a Virgo not knowing what this Virgo want not knowing what direction this Virgo wants to go in okay so that is going to be what um, number seven this week is a week where the energy of number seven is here and this energy of number seven 
Um, this is about the seven of ones and the seven of ones is about standing your ground. So I see the week of uh, um, the fourth until the 10th, you're going to be standing your grounds. There is no question about this. This is about the seven of ones and this is Mars in Leo. Okay. And you are standing your ground against whatever is coming at you because you are standing up for, you know, your right in justice and equality because of something that someone has gone over your boundaries in whatever way you are really standing up for injustice and equality and you're protecting yourself from people and situation that um have created a whole lot of issues so i see you're standing up your standing your ground and protecting yourself from a situation a dis disaster or situation that you see and recognize is about to happen you're protecting yourself from this. Now, I see, do you see the energy of protection here is that um, you recognize and you saw some sort of an imbalanced situation that people were creating chaos around you. And whoever these people are, you're putting a stop to it. You're ending it. It's as if you, Taurus, is like, um, I've, I've had enough of this. And um, I'm not moving forward out of this uh, um, Gemini period with this situation. So this is where it ends. And a lot of you are putting, putting your foot down and said, this is where it ends. I am no longer playing this game. This game is now over and I'm taking back my power. So the energy of the seven of ones is that you are standing your ground. So you're protecting yourself. So you know, whatever that these people outside forces was creating, you're ending it. They have been really creating some sort of a chaos um, for you, Tauruses, for a very long time. And whoever these people and these situations uh, uh, is, you're deciding um, this situation needs to be ended. I'm standing up and I'm resolving um, this situation now. I'm not taking it to... Um, another period in my life this is the time that this situation needs to be uh, um, end and resolve so wonderful alignment of energy is going to be coming in there is no question about this this is about um, you standing your ground um, balancing out some sort of an issue that outside influence was bringing in your world and is saying no I'm I'm ending this this has gone too far this I took so much energy so much life energy out of me that you know it is time that i resolve the situation you're showing up for yourself and you're protecting yourself and you decide this is when it, this situation should be ended so you know tauruses and that is it um with you tauruses um you know you can um you can play and you can be happy and play around but um, sometimes you really put your foot down and I see it's a time that you need to put your foot down with a situation and let people know that, you know, it is okay. Um, whatever you people decide to do fine, but not on my territory because I am not dealing with this anymore on my territory. And you're going to be so happy that you make this decision to stand your ground and end a situation. All right. So congratulations, Taurus. Sometimes people just um, walk over you. And that is what is transpiring. The Four of Pentacles. Someone was trying to get away with a whole lot of money. The Four of Pentacles um, is the energy of the sun in Capricorn. And the energy of the sun in Capricorn, if you recognize, I see a whole lot of you it's going to become the miser and there's nothing wrong with becoming the miser because the problem is um, you are becoming the miser and it is good to, for you to become the miser because it's as if people have been taken 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 from you and it is a sense that um, you know with the Sun in Capricorn it's about um, Taurus protect yourself and protect your money and I see some sort of a message is going to be coming in um, that a lot of you Tauruses is, is going to be um, repay, okay? Um, it could be uh, some sort of a debt that was owed to some of you Tauruses. It's as if some of you Tauruses, some sort of a work service that you have done 
um, was not paid and you Taurus is um, in the week of uh, the 11th until the 20th, 20th you are going to be receiving some sort of a news uh, that money is going to be coming in to you so this is good because what is happening and transpiring whenever the Sun is in Capricorn is a sad uh, money is returning some sort of a news that money is returning it's not that you're giving it out or you're paying it out you're holding on on your money so it is as if some of you um you know could be you know especially see people in service I see money is going to be um, coming in or some sort of a letter over some sort of a bonus is going to be coming in or some sort of unexpected uh, money is going to be coming in and if you notice uh, it's not about you p paying anything it's about you claiming reclaiming money that was either taken stolen um, from you taken or stolen from you is going to be returning so um, a letter okay and you're going to be holding on on onto your money it could be someone that wants it to extort you okay because you have sometimes um these criminals that come up with these brilliant uh, um ideas that wanted to extort you and you um decided nope and uh, um whatever is happening and transpiring you're going to be recognizing so i see a tower moment is coming down taurus is whatever is happening and transpiring some sort of a tower moment um for a pisces cancer scorpion person at the workplace I see an end is going to be happening and I see some sort of a news you're going to be receiving um, that news so if you notice the tower is ending some sort of a delirious situation that was going on where people could have been creating chaos in order that a situation is not resolved and now people are going to be seeing the play that people were doing because people wanted to create some sort of a chaos and this chaos is going to be over because I see um, that a Pisces Cancer Scorpion man was trying to create some sort of a chaos. Okay, um, whoever this man is, it could be a businessman, a business partner, um, whoever this man is, and however this man affects you in your life is a man fifty years and older has created a whole lot of chaos. Okay, and whoever this person is, as the created some situation that you felt as if you know you were the one that was responsible for the chaos in their lives and now you're standing up for whatever is transpiring and it's letting this person know you know you got to take care of your responsibility you know um and don't try to blame someone else or pull it off on someone else because your responsibility um, it's as if you are letting someone know hey um, you have gone over my boundary and you need to be more responsible for whatever you're dealing with in your life because uh, each and every one of us have to be um, responsible for the action that we take and whatever is transpiring I see you are going to be dealing with the situation in a very very positive way okay because uh, um, when we look at a situation I see a letter is going to be coming in where um, some sort of a money is going to be um, pay out to you so was it your boss was it your boss that created a whole lot of issues a whole lot of problems um, is that um, your company is being um, for yeet and a whole lot of you are going to be paid out but whatever is happening, the money that you're receiving, Taurus is hold on to this money. Hold on to this money. This money that you, Taurus, is, are going to be receiving at the end. And it's like um, the week of the 11th of June until the 20th of June. Um, that week, you gotta hold on tight to that money because that money is going to be helping you moving forward. Okay? Whatever, uh, how much is it? How much it was it's going to be helping you to move you forward so whatever is transpiring um, you have like a window of um, being financial bill in this Gemini season especially when you're leaving this Gemini season 
um, you're going to be really financial balanced. There's there's money that is going to be coming in, and you gotta hold on to this money. Okay, it's not about this money comes in. Everyone know. So oh, you're going to be lending this person, lending this person. No, hold on to your money. Remember to use the link below to pick the crystals. Okay, and I want to say to each and every one of you. Um, sometimes life have ups and downs but as we look at the um, the season for you guys money is not going to be a problem um, because you're blocking and you're saying no you're saying no it's a season of saying no um, when someone comes to ask you for some money and no no it's not a season to lend out any money I love you guys I gotta go namaste <laughs>